Hello there. Today we will learn about the invention of Korean alphabet, especially consonant. As you already know, might already know that um, King Sejong created the Korean alphabet in 1443, and he created them because he felt sorry for the common people because common people couldn't use Chinese loanwords when the high officials uh, used them. So King Sejong created um, Korean alphabet. As you can see uh, on the picture, he created basically um, five alphabet. That is, Kyok, Niun, Miun, Shiot, Yun. As you might have already guessed that um, King Sejong actually copied either the position of uh, tongue or he copied the shape of lips or teeth or throat. Okay, starting from Giyok, this is the shape of the tongue. Tongue actually touches the hard palate and it blocks the airway it's villar sound kiyok okay and let's look at niun niun is actually the tongue uh, tip of tongue touches the palate this is a lingual sound niun and look at niun Mium is actually the shape of lips. Okay, it's by by labial sound. Mium, and let's look at shiot. Shiot actually copied the shape of teeth, so it's dental sound. Let's look at yung. Yung is positioned at the um, throat. So we call it um, gutter sound. Okay, so there are five types of sounds uh, created by King Sejong with the shape of either the shape of tongues or lips or teeth or throat. Okay, now let's move on to the principles of uh, how Korean consonants added. As you can see, um, I already told you about um, five base initial consonants that are kiok, niun, miun, shiot, yung. Okay. For King Sejong uh, to create more consonants, he added either one stroke or two stroke added consonants. The principles of added consonants are basically um, whether the sounds are tougher or not. For kiok, it's less tough sound. But when you add here one more stroke, it's tougher sound. We call it um, this uh, this letter kiuk, while this one is called kiok. But this one is called kiuk. Okay. For lingual sound dian, you added one more stroke. We call it tiguk. So this is a little bit tougher sound, all right? And when you add One more stroke, we call it tiut uh, for the name of consonant, and this is tougher than digut sound. Okay, and these are lingual sound. And let's look at labial sound, miyum. Miyum is uh, the shape of lips, right? But when you add strokes,
this consonant called P of when you add two more strokes here, sorry. We call it P of these are labial sound. And let's look at shiot. Shiot is dental sound, right? A shape of teeth. And you add one more stroke. We call it jiut. Okay, it's tougher sound. And you add one more stroke. It's become jiut. Add one more stroke. Jiut. These are uh, dental sound. And you get a uh, look at um yin. This is what the shape of throat. It's guttural sound. You add two more stroke strokes, and we call it he ut. Okay. And apart from these, you can see different shape of consonant. For lil, lil it's a linger sound, but it's not from yin. Okay, itself. It's just lingual sound. We call it lier. And these are uh, laterally attached consonants. See, um, you just added one more consonant, the same one more consonant. Okay, these are laterally um, attached consonants. We call these uh, sanggyeok. Sang means double. Okay, these are uh, this is called sang digut, this is called sang biut, this is called sang shiot, this is called sang chiut. Okay, thank you.